guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a crock pot chicken noodle soup recipe. I've been getting a lot of requests to do crock pot videos. I decided that today I would go ahead and show you guys this easy chicken noodle soup crock pot recipe. And of course you can always do this on the stove. If you don't have a crock pot, you can always just, you know, do the same things. Um, cook them separately or together on the stove. I also wanted to mention that you do not need to use all natural or, or organic products to make this chicken noodle soup. Um, we don't always eat organic and all natural, but for the most part we try to. We do try to eat as much all natural and organic as we can, but like I said, you don't need organic or all natural to make a good chicken noodle soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need for this recipe. You're gonna need minced onions, ground pepper. I have white pepper but any pepper will work um, whole rosemary you're also gonna need salt I'm just gonna be using fine all-natural sea salt you're gonna need one cup of water that's actually <laughs> more than one cup but I'm only gonna use one cup um, you're gonna need one and one half of these cartons of chicken broth and I'm just using the Pacific organic free-range chicken broth you're also gonna need some chicken breasts, just depending on how much chicken you want. I'm using the chicken tenderloins, I think, and they're about half the size of a regular chicken breast. So I used six, I have six right here, so that's about three chick whole chicken breasts. Um, and you can also use any noodles that you want. I'm just gonna be using these because this is what we have on hand. They're just organic and they come in a pack from Costco. Um, you can also use like egg noodles or something like that, but this is just what we have and I like these. Um, I'm also using these organic baby carrots, but um, if you were using full carrots, you'll want to use about three or four full carrots to get this amount. And I also use three of these celery sticks that's at the bottom of that. And yeah, so that is everything that you need for this recipe. So I'm just going to start by adding the chicken breast to the bottom of the crock pot. I have one that is frozen and the rest of them are thawed, but you could always add this to the crock pot frozen. So now I've got my handy dandy helper here and she is wearing her apron. Can I see your apron? Your cooker? She calls it her cooker. So she's going to help me cook. Right baby? Alright, let's get started. You're going to add in your one and one half of these carton chicken broths. And also I'm going to have all the measurements for everything below just in case I don't mention it in the video or you're not sure like what exactly I use. I will leave it in the description below. Just pour it all in there. Work. Now you're also going to add in your one cup of water. <laughs> Good job. So now you're adding in two cups of carrots and celery, but there's way less celery than there is carrots because Luis and I are not huge fans of celery, um, but Malaya Noah actually like it. So my little helper is going to mix it all together. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of rosemary. We're also going to add in two teaspoons of minced onion. We're also going to add in half a teaspoon of pepper. We're actually, we're actually going to do the salt to taste since the chicken broth is all, like already has a lot of salt in it. You can just go like, you know, add in a little bit of salt. And then um, when it's finished, just check and, you know, just add salt to taste. If it needs more salt, add more salt. If it doesn't, then don't. I am going to go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of salt. And I try not to add too much salt, so I think it'll be salty enough. But if not, I'll just add more at the end. Good job. So I'm going to turn the crock pot on low for six hours. It should take about six to seven hours, but usually it only takes six. 
If you cook it on high, it'll cook much faster than that. It'll probably be done in like four hours. Um, and the chicken is just gonna be shredded after we're done. So the noodles are the only thing you do not wanna add to the crock pot because you don't wanna overcook them. So you'll put them in towards the end and I will talk to you guys about that in a few, um, when I see you guys in a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, so now you just add in your noodles. So now, the, so now the noodles are done cooking and I'm gonna take the chicken out and just shred it and then add it back to the soup mixture. So here's the completed chicken noodle soup and I just added some of these um, oyster crackers. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.